hey guys, I want to pop in and share a little kind of a guidance and tips video for the quick coherence technique that was formulated by the HeartMath Institute. And so I'm going to share my screen with you. That way I don't have to actually just read it out. There you go. Okay. So um, as you can see, there's just a couple of steps. It's not going to be anything that's going to like, you know, take you all day to do. And actually, once you really get it down, it only takes maybe about five minutes to really get things going to get that um, the heart brain connection activated, which is the whole point of heart, you know, heart brain coherence. And so there's only two steps. The first step is um, heart focus. And then the second step is uh, activate a positive feeling. Really simple. Um, I actually incorporate it as part of my meditation every day. And so what you want to do, so the heart focused is, you know, you shift your, your awareness to your heart area. And uh, if you're not used to doing this, if this is something that's brand new to you, what you can do is um, actually touch the area of your heart. And then um, you start to breathe a little bit more slowly than you normally would, you know, just like, you know, the breathing that you would do for meditation. And then you want to visualize um, or however, you know, you feel things. Some people can do this, you know, you can either visualize it or you can sense it or feel it. Um, what I've actually found wor works really well for me is I actually imagine the heart chakra. And as I'm inhaling, I'll imagine um, that heart chakra getting bigger, you know, and then as I'm exhaling, it's like it's contracting the air out, but you want to act as if you're breathing from this space right here. Okay. So you're inhaling in and you got a nice big breath from, you know, your belly. And then you exhale out and you just continue to do that. Okay. For however long you feel led to. And then the next thing, and this is, I think where a lot of people, um, they don't know that this is something they need to do. You can actually activate, you can feel on purpose good thoughts. And so you activate a positive feeling by conjuring up gratitude, love, joy, peace, whatever comes naturally to you. And if you need to draw up, you know, a, a special memory, maybe an image of, you know, kids or a favorite place or pets or something, something that's going to elicit a really positive feeling. And then once you start to get that or you start to feel there, you want to hold on to it for as long as possible. And this is like a muscle that you're building. It's not, it, you may have a hard time at first even being able to do that. It's to the best of your ability. You know, as much as you possibly can to the best of your ability, uh, you activate this positive feeling. You conjure it up, you evoke it, okay? And so the key to the step is to first create the feeling to the best of your ability and then to embrace it again to the best of your ability and then sustain it for as long as you possibly can. All right. So I won't go into all the many benefits that there are about the quick coherence technique. Um, I will tell you that, you know, our heart is the seat of our intuition. And so if you're, you know, if you're wanting to sharpen your deep intuition and I mean deep intuition, we're talking about asking yourself a question that you need, you know, it's, it's an urgent question and you need to know. You can ask your heart and your heart will tell you. And that's a different video for a different time. But, um, you know, this is going to open up that heart brain connection. It's going to make your intuition sharpen. Um, and then it's just, it's going to bring, every, it's going to ground you. It's going to center you. It's going to bring everything back to where it needs to be. The power of the heart is insane in a good way. It's the most powerful force. The, the energetic vibration of your heart is the most powerful force, even beyond the most positive thought. The most positive thought that you could think of um, isn't as positive as, or the frequency is not as high as when you're able to just be present and just feel joy. You can think about joy all you want to, but to actually be present and feel joy, it's off the charts, uh, charts vibration-wise. I'm sure you know what that means for the law of attraction, right? So um, that's the quick coherence technique. 
<clears throat> Again, there's only two steps, heart focus, and then you wanna activate a positive feeling, okay? If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. I'll talk to you guys later.